Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. It's been a while since I've done my last video. But, yesterday, I went Black Friday shopping at Walmart. Um, I decided not to film anything over there. I just, I just wanted to go to a local Walmart just so I could find what I'm looking for. So I just picked up uh, 15 Blu-ray titles. And I'm going to show you right now. Starting with Deadpool 2, the Super Duper Cuts. Yeah, <laughs> it's really awesome. It has uh, both the theatrical and unrated cuts included, with all the features uh, all right here. Um, yeah, same as usual here. <laughs> but it's cool. So now I can't wait to watch the. Uh, unrated cuts and all the other features to join in. Uh, next, um, I picked up um, three titles, all which were five bucks, and that is uh, A League of Their Own, the 25th Anniversary Edition, which came out in 2017 with a Blu-ray, and I always love this movie. I saw this in theaters uh, when I was a kid. It was double featured with uh, Death Becomes Her. But it's a classic. <laughs> I mean, who couldn't forget Tom Hanks' character saying, There's no crying in baseball! <laughs> then you got Gina Davis, Lori Petty, Rosie O'Donnell, and Madonna. <laughs> all included. Yeah. Has some features included. So, there you go. Next, for its 30th anniversary, but this is a 25th anniversary edition. Excuse me. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Of course, I had this on DVD. That's the Vista series uh, to this special edition. But I put it in one of my boxes. And I also have the uncut version that I actually found online and just made a copy for myself uh, because sadly we, we couldn't get an uncut version of this but this is the one that we've been getting ever since uh, home video where they had to do some editing of those uh, you know, a few scenes that that would actually cause uh, a riot for parents but what can you do but it's nice to have this on Blu-ray and has all the features, um, all which were ported from the Vista series. And the transfer should definitely look good. Very solid and stunning. And the Chronicles of Narnia. Yep. Um, I did add a copy, but now I have it on Blu-ray, so does come with a DVD, so it's good, but it has, but they have two discs, both are Blu-rays, and it's nice to have it, since this is the first movie. I hope I can find the second, which is Prince Caspian, and the third movie, The Voyage of Don Treater, if I can find it in stores, yeah, I have it for a lot less, so that'll be my complete series. I, I actually heard they might do another one uh, sometime um, the following year. But let's see what happens. Because the kids are, are now adults. <laughs> but let's see what happens. Uh, but now we're going to get to all these retrospective uh, VHS uh, slip covers that they put out from Walmart. And it is indeed a Walmart exclusive. Starting with Scarface. Yeah, this is the remake from 1983 by Brian De Palma. It stars Al Pacino as Tony Montana. Yeah, nicknamed Scarface. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> uh, love this cover art that they chose. Even though it's it's actually a plate, it's not um, a slip cover, as you can see. 
Then I got John Wick. Yeah, with Keanu Reeves. And this actually has the style of a VHS tape right here. You can see the spine. But if you take it out, right there, you get the regular release. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll get uh, John Wick Chapter 2 later, but it's nice to have this in this awesome retrospective VHS uh, cover art. And this isn't the only one. <laughs> I also got Meatballs. Meat. Balls. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this classic movie. And it has this nice uh, cover art here. Looks so much better too. It looks exactly like the old VHS tape. Style like this too. And take the slip cover out. Just a regular release. This was, of course, the first film that Bill Murray has ever done from director Ivor Reitman. <laughs> yeah. He also worked on other movies, too, including Ghostbusters, also with Bill Murray, and Groundhog's Day. Same here, Bill Murray. Then I got those free titles. Um, yeah, they were $7.50, though. And they're from Mill Creek. Yeah, part just doing the the Sony library here. I got uh, Silent Rage. Chuck Norris. Yeah, battling a an, an invincible murderer who's played by Jack Kirby. And you just can't go wrong with this movie. I mean, he kicks ass and he stops the guy and. There you go. <laughs> yeah, also stylized. But when you take the slip cover out, yeah, it's just this. And this is a new release, by the way. Um, it was released before as a triple feature pack with uh, Blind Fury and the other movie. I hope that uh, Blind Fury gets a separate release. Maybe they might be able to release it in the retrospective VHS cover art uh, from Mill Creek. Uh, next I got is Happy Birthday to Me. It's a horror mystery that was directed by Jay Lee Thompson. He's been known for doing all the Chuck Norris and, and uh, Charles Bronson films, but he also did The Guns of Navarone. But this is a pretty underrated um, gem right here. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I always uh, never forget this poster right here, where you see the you, know, you see the guy just uh, that's already getting jammed by beef kebabs right here, <laughs> and you see all the back right here with all that, and this is almost stylized uh, like the RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video, um, but you get this cover art, quite different. Okay, but it's cool. Again, stylized like the VHS tape. Uh, and I also got uh, Who's Harry Crum with John Candy. I had this twice, both on VHS and DVD. Yeah, the DVD was released by Mill Creek as well. But we finally get this on Blu-ray for the first time in this wonderful stylized uh, retrospective VHS packaging, which actually looks exactly like the uh, RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video release, which again I do have. So you'll see the difference um, right here. And this this is a funny comedy. You know we have <laughs> John Candy. You know, just uh, as a detective, a bumbling detective who 
was about to solve a mystery and it goes with several disguises. Yeah. He also teams up with Shawnee Smith to find out what's going on. So it's cool. It's nice to see that it got a Blu-ray release, so the picture should definitely be as stunning as ever. Yeah. No features sadly, but what can you do? Uh okay. Next Young Guns. Yep, it even has the Best Strong Video logo, just like the Best Strong Video Collector series, but it's not part of that. <laughs> this is the way they wanted to package it this way. Um, yeah, for its 30th anniversary, as you can see. <laughs> uh, but of course, it's the same release as before. They they didn't do any remastering whatsoever. It's just the same. But I figure I'd take it anyway because, well, it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth having for for what what you want. They, oh, and speaking of young guns, I mean. There is a new Blu-ray for the sequel, and it's being released by Sony, because uh, they now own the, the Morgan Creek Library. So they're going to put out a lot of titles uh, for Morgan Creek. I hope they'll do a better job. And I also heard that um, they were going to release Stay Tuned with John Ritter, Pam Dauber, and Jeffrey Jones. So I can't wait to see that. Uh, I, I hope I could pick this up when it's released. Highlander. There could be only one. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, I love this cover art. Exactly like how the VHS look like. Yeah. And it's a director's cut, of course. Yeah. And it's his 30th anniversary. Yeah, classic movie, no doubt about it. Um, not a big fan of the second movie, but on the other hand, um, the two different cuts are even better than, than the theatrical cut. And all the other sequels suck. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could say maybe I'll stick to what I'm sticking to. The Crow, I had this on DVD, that's the, uh, the Miramax Dimension Collector Series, but it's nice to have this on Blu-ray for the first time. I'm glad they used this cover art, this is exactly what I remember when it was on home video. And it looks really nice, they stylize it too. But I'm surprised they didn't use the classic Miramax logo, you know, the one with the M. And they didn't use the, the Dimension Films logo, so and I guess they could have done better. But here, uh, it's really nice to have that. Okay, Flash Dance yeah, from Paramount. Uh, yes, has that Paramount Pictures just on top. It's actually like the VHS tape where it just shows uh, Jennifer Beals and that shirt. And then on the back, yeah, it even says original version, best romantic drama, I do agree. Um, it's actually styled on, on the back side. <laughs> but it's just the, the regular release which has this cover art, it looks beautiful. This was actually released by uh, Warner Home Video, which for a while they actually had uh, the rights to release uh, several of the Paramount titles as part of their deal. So you can see it by the spine. Um, but it's cool. So uh, now we finally got it. It was, it was pretty hard to find for for a while, but I'm glad to see that now I got it. And then, and then finally, Heavy Metal. Yes, Heavy Metal. That was produced by Ivor Reitman. And definitely 
an adult animated fantasy, <laughs> but a classic, and also styled in the VHS style packaging. Oh, and speaking of which, this was never on home video until 1996, and I do have the VHS tape where it has the the poster art right here, just of the character, but the background was changed into simply heavy metal. <laughs> so, so this is the first to ever show the, the cover art exactly the way it's supposed to be from the movie poster. Yeah, it has all the features. Also has the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment uh, logo on top. So that's really interesting. And But when you take it out, there you go. Just a regular release. There you go. So that's all I have. Um, you have 15 titles. I was going to get some more, but I had to spend over 100. Like, I, I would have picked up some other titles that I would have loved. There were more uh, retrospective VHS style slipcovers of all the other titles, half of which I already got that were not in the slipcovers. Um, but there are other titles I haven't picked up yet. I mean, they had Crow. Which I know I have the DVD of. That's a special edition, but the Blu-ray is just bare bones. But it would have been nice to pick it up anyway. There's also Hard Bodies. They even got the Iron Giants and a faceplate that has a cover art that's just like the, the DVD release. Uh, I would have picked it up anyway because it was a featurette that's not included on any DVD release. So I was almost as close to getting that. Maybe I'll get it later. Um, because of course that's a signature edition. And then there's other, um, there's other titles as well. Um, they even got Home Alone for Blu-ray. That would have been nice, because it even has the original cover art that's like on all the other uh, VHS tapes. The movie poster. <laughs> even DVD. Um, and yeah, I would have picked up some other ones too. Like they had, uh, you know, they actually had uh, Incredibles 2. They have all these other movies available that I would have got for, for a lot less. But but hopefully I will get some more when I get those gift cards. And let's see what happens. But it's the best I could do. And I can't wait to watch all these movies that I got. So anyway, that's my uh, Black Friday uh, Blu-ray titles that I picked up at Walmart's, and I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.